Today I am showing you exactly how to manifest using the placebo effect with examples. Once you understand how powerful the placebo effect is, your whole life will transform as a result. And what I have just said to you is in itself a placebo effect and you'll understand this in a minute. So before I show you how to manifest using the placebo effect, it's a good idea for us just to clarify what the placebo effect actually is. What is a placebo? A placebo is something that appears to be real but isn't designed to have any active benefit, such as an inactive substance. The term originally came from the medical industry, where doctors would give sugar pills to patients instead of giving them the active drug to see if they would have any benefit from this. Placebos are mainly used in drug trials to test the effectiveness of a particular drug against a placebo. So now that we know what a placebo is, what is the placebo effect? The placebo effect is when someone receives a benefit from their belief in something that was not designed to give them a benefit. How effective are placebos? Placebos work between 30 and 60% of the time, so they are actually really powerful. And funnily enough, they're actually more effective in different parts of the world. Placebos are more effective in the USA than other countries, possibly because of all the advertising that happens in the USA surrounding drugs, so people already have a higher belief around drugs than they do in other parts of the world. And it's not just sugar pills that are given as placebos in the medical industry. Fake surgeries are often performed as well, where they do a surgery and then they don't do anything else. They just literally make an incision and then sew it back up. They don't actually do anything. And these fake surgeries are actually effective 75% of the time. And interestingly enough, placebos actually work just as well as the actual drug they're being tested against most of the time, which has got to make you ask the question, what is the drug actually doing? Is the drug just a placebo effect in itself? And here's something even more interesting. Some doctors decided to do trials where they actually told their patients that they were receiving a placebo because they wanted to see what would happen if people actually knew that they were receiving a placebo rather than the active drug. And guess what happened? 59% of the placebos were effective when people actually knew that they were receiving something fake. So why is this? It's probably because their own belief system tells them that as soon as they start to get attention from a professional or care from a doctor who is going to help them, then they automatically send signals to the body that they are being healed. So this just shows you how powerful your own belief system is. And we can also look at the opposite to the placebo effect. This is called the nocebo effect. So what is the nocebo effect? The nocebo effect is where people get negative results instead of positive results because of their own belief in the thing that they are consuming. And even if that thing wasn't designed to produce any effect, if they believe that they are going to be harmed negatively, then the nocebo effect kicks in. So in drug trials, a lot of people would have a placebo effect where they would receive a positive benefit, but they would also receive a nocebo effect where they would receive side effects from those drugs because they assume that they're going to get them. Why does the placebo effect actually work? There are lots of scientific reasons why the human body responds to medication or fake medication in terms of placebos. If they're taking an inactive substance, they can say that their belief creates hormones in the body that creates healing, gets rid of pain, eliminates depression and all these kind of things. But they don't go so far as to say what actually triggers the hormones. What triggers these hormones is your own belief system. And our belief system doesn't just regulate and heal our bodies. It actually creates everything in our entire lives. So now you know how powerful your belief system is, how do we use the placebo effect to manifest what we want in any area of our lives? This is what you do. 
First of all, you've got to decide what you want. You can't manifest something if you don't know what you want. Then what you can do is go onto a search engine and search for somebody who's got the results that you want in that particular area and search for how they did it. Find someone who has used a particular method of doing something that would feel easy and doable to you. Don't choose something that would feel too difficult for you to do. Choose something that would feel nice and easy and then simply do what they did and expect the same results that they got. That is how you use a placebo effect. All you need to do is convince your brain that you are going to be able to receive what you want by doing a particular thing. That is why working with people is often very powerful because as soon as you sign up with a coach and that coach says to you, I believe in you, you are going to get the results you want, immediately you start getting the results you want because of the power of your belief in that coach. And in a minute, I'm going to show you how to transcend the placebo effect completely so you don't need to rely on anything at all. But when we're first starting out with manifestation, we often need to rely on certain things to get results because we haven't yet developed that belief system that tells us that we can have whatever we want. So it's much more powerful and much more quick if we can find somebody who has the results we want, they've got a manifestation technique that we think we could use and then we use that technique and we expect to get the results because we've used that particular technique. And did you know that the placebo effect is in effect in your entire life? It's not just down to healing your body or manifesting certain things, it literally governs everything. Your placebo effect is your entire life. Whatever you have a belief around is a placebo effect. There is nothing in this world that works. The only thing that works is your own belief system. To get the placebo effect to work for you, you have to really believe it. So think of some examples in your life of things that you use the word always or never in regards to. Whenever you say, this always happens when I do this, that is a placebo effect that's working for you. And if you say, this never happens because of this, that's also a nocebo effect in your own life. But I encourage you to think very carefully before you decide on your placebo effect. Think it through to its logical conclusion. If you continue to use this placebo effect continuously throughout your whole life, will it produce a negative result at a later date and a positive result now? And if it does, then you probably want to choose something different that will always have a positive result. And an example of this is when people attach a belief about weight loss. Now, weight loss is not the end result. Weight loss is just a path to get to the end result. So you've got to think, what do you want your end result to be? Do you want your end result to be slimmer? If so, you could have a placebo around, I am always at my ideal weight and I can eat whatever I like. That is a good placebo effect that would always be the case throughout your entire life and it would never create an undesired effect. Whereas if you had a placebo effect in use where you said, whenever I drink water, I lose a pound each day or something like that. When you get to your ideal weight, your belief system is still going to believe in that placebo effect and you're going to continue to lose weight every time you drink water and eventually you're going to be underweight and you're going to be needing to put weight on and then you're going to need to change it to something else. So to avoid having to change your placebo effects, it's better to choose the right one to start with. And now I'm going to give you some examples of placebo effects and nocebo effects so that you can get some ideas about how you already use placebo effects and how you could use them in the future. So here are some examples of using the placebo effect. No matter how much food I eat, I always remain at my ideal weight. When I wash my face every day, I always have clear skin. When I work longer hours, I will get better results in my business. And I'm not saying that all these are the exact placebo effect that you would want, but I'm just saying these are placebo effects that you might already have. It's a very common belief system to believe that when you work longer hours, you get better results. But you would probably want to change that to something like, when I work for at least one hour, three days a week, I achieve good results in my business or whatever 
hours you want to work. When I dress more smartly at my job, I get a promotion more easily. Going on one date a week is the secret to a happy marriage. Loving yourself is the key to attracting a soulmate. So those are all very general placebo effects that a lot of people would use. Let's look at some alternative therapies because these are all placebo effects as well and I have actually used these to great effect in my life and created entire businesses around some of these alternative therapies so I'm not knocking them I'm just saying that it's good to recognize them for what they are which are just placebo effects using crystals protects me from negativity another thing I see a lot of people doing is using astrology to explain why they've had a bad month for example mercury is in retrograde i love that one or reiki heals my body yoga keeps my body looking young meditation keeps the stress away aromatherapy makes me happy and purifies my room green smoothies gives me good digestion and walking barefoot helps you to connect to the earth and improve your health and i'm not saying that you shouldn't do any of these things i'm just saying take your power back and recognize that they're all placebo effects and do them enjoy doing them but know that the only thing that gets results is your belief system and here are some examples of using the nocebo effect to get negative results that you didn't want maybe you gained three pounds by just looking at a cake did you get a pimple because you ate chocolate did you have toothache because you ate sugar did you lose a client because you went on vacation maybe you didn't get a promotion because of your gender maybe your relationship is failing because you gained 10 pounds maybe you didn't earn as much money this month because you didn't do your manifestation routine every single morning and I actually think looking at the nocebo effect the common beliefs that people have the excuses and the justifications and the reasons why people don't have what they want is actually much more telling than the placebo effect and when I read out those nocebo effects these examples you might be thinking well that's not true and that's not true because I know somebody who has got that result and they didn't do that thing or they they got what they wanted despite having that thing. So every time you are using a reason to justify why you do have or why you don't have what you want, that is you using the placebo and the nocebo effects. So now I'm going to share with you how to transcend the placebo effect because we all use the placebo and the nocebo effect and this is very common for all of us. Whether we think we're using it or we're not using it, we are using it. But using the placebo and the nocebo effect is actually quite limiting because you are placing all of your power into something physical. And what happens when you don't have that physical thing anymore? anymore. You get the nocebo, you get the bad effect that you don't want. And that's what happens when you give your power away to something. So instead of giving your power away to something physical, you want to just accept that I have what I want because I believe I have it. I don't have what I want because I don't believe I have it. Believe in your own power. Believe in your belief system. Believe in the power of your own imagination. And when you can do this, you will transcend the placebo effect and you won't need to use it anymore. But until you get to that point, by all means, keep using the placebo effect, but do it consciously. Decide what you actually want to use the placebo effect for and then decide when it no longer serves you and stop using it. But once you've got enough evidence to back up that you can manifest what you want, then you can transcend the placebo effect entirely. And I have two videos which are going to help to strengthen your belief system in your own power of imagination and the first one is called the science behind manifestation proof it actually works and the other one is called the easiest way to manifest anything no techniques required so go and watch those and strengthen your own belief system so that you don't need to use the placebo effect any longer and here's another quick tip that I forgot to share when you are looking for proof that something is possible that somebody got the results that you want to get and you're looking at reviews maybe you're on Amazon or you're on Google and you're looking at reviews and comments only read the positive comments if you start to take in the negative comments then you've got a higher chance of it not working for you so when you're on Amazon just look at the five star reviews and decide this is going to work for me and I am going to have the same result as all of these other people who have got exactly what I want don't even let your brain entertain 
anything negative so that the nocebo effect never kicks in. And if you want to manifest fame, fortune and followers, I have a free gift in the description below. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.